Welcome and thank you for joining us here at Quick Fix Smartphone and Tablet Repair. We are doing a Galaxy S5 rebuild brought to you by RootJunkie.com. Alright, let's jump in and get started. First things first, you have to go through the screen to do anything with the phone, so let's start with the screen. The screen is a bonded assembly with the LCD and digitizer glued and optically glued to the framed screen, the glass, with all the connections soldered in place, all one piece. Now on the motherboard, you have your loudspeaker microphone right here, your back camera which connects is on the other side, your front camera connects on the other side, you have your flash and your heart rate sensor, uh, the battery connection, the connection for the daughter board, um, yep, and the connection for your LCD is right here. All right. You have your home button, which is the fingerprint scanner. It, this wire here and the physical button itself uh, is bonded. So please you know, keep in mind, be careful, don't rip that connection. Now in the first mid-frame, we have the vibrate motor, which is a pressure connection right here. Uh, with the daughter board, which has the microphone, standard microphone, and the charger dock. And on the opposite side of the charger dock, you have your home button. The soft keys are individually bonded to the mother, the daughter board right there. Again, on the other mid-frame, uh, it is a shell mid-frame, which means the phone is enclosed, and the only way to get into it is through the screen. So on the second part of the mid-frame, the second part of the shell, uh, you have the headphone port, which is a pressure connection, and you have the ear speaker, which is also a pressure connection. The, vi the volume buttons are, and the power buttons also. You have your loudspeaker, which is a pressure connection as well. And again, you have your door here for helping, you know, whatever kind of wood or resistance they were going for there. You have the back door and your battery. All right, let's get assembling. Now we're going to take the motherboard and connect it to the daughter board there. There we go. Make sure everything's locked in nice and tightly in place. Now you're going to take your home button, put it through the midframe, and connect it to the motherboard. Right there. Okay. Now we can snap this back on. But you, uh, you know what? Before I forget to mention this, you want to go dock in first because it kind of protrudes out. You have to put the dock in first, and the rest of the phone goes right in place. Now there are a bunch of screws. Way too many, if you ask me. Now, a little side note on these Galaxy S5s. Uh, working here at Quick Fix, you know, before these phones even came out, they are not water resistant or waterproof in any way. Please do not assume that these phones can be thrown in the sink with no consequences. You will destroy this phone if you throw it in the swimming pool. It is just in case water protection, not to show off water protection. We have heard stories of people who just rinsed it off under the sink and their phone, you know, never worked again. Just keep that in mind, not water resistant. Alright, now to connect the screen. Line up that home button. And voila, we have completed a Galaxy S5. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks again to Root Junkie for having quick fix smartphone and tablet repair here. And if you have any requests for any other rebuilds, teardowns, or internal inquiries about your electronics, just give us a comment below and I'll try to get to it as soon as possible. Thank you again. Have a great day.